Good. Yes, how can I help you? Yeah. I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. Yep. So actually, I'm facing an issue right now with my uh, job search, actually. Right. So what happened? No, I, uh, I got your paid courses. I uh, got to learn more things. I follow all the YouTube things and other things. But uh, still not receive any, you know, the positive result, I believe. He, and I have seen my one of my number colleagues are getting uh, selected and other, but I don't know why I'm there. I'm lacking. So I'm just sharing my resume. So I. Which program did you join by any chance? Sorry? Have you joined any of my program? Uh, actually, I take your paid, paid courses. Um, your Which project uh, around three, three months ago. I take your. Recorded. Recorded. recorded one. Yeah, recorded one and. Uh, some you know your your stuff really i following very since long very long time so, okay so as you said to me right so i have changed my resume yep skills at oh this is you after we talking you have made changes correct 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 all right okay Yeah, looks looks better. Can you can make it a little more uh, in the summary? You can add few more things at four years. Um, bring uh, keywords like led teams or uh, managed infrastructure for so and so. Something like some more adjectives. The summary looks very uh, short and not full of uh, uh, the right keywords. Willing to go extra mile and all. No one cares. Uh, it's what you bring to the table. Can you um, stand up landing zones? Can you lead teams? Uh, use those those key de DevOps and cloud related stuff. This 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 is you are basically wasting some space uh, by adding extra mile and uh, comprehensive experience in cloud DevOps and FinOps. Add uh, what kind of experience you have. Okay. Uh, okay. In managing infra across multiple environments, across multiple regions. So experience in managing multi-region, multi-environment infra. So you are not taking all the points from the projects. You mentioned Every that you, you, mentioned obviously you, are applying, you are applying for a DevOps and cloud role. So obviously you have some experience in cloud DevOps, but what is that experience? Okay. Uh, you skills have, uh, again. Uh, skills is consulting and cost management, RFP, RFQs. We spoke about this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Again, skills in the cloud. Again, you bring adjectives, not just AWS. Bring cloud management of infrastructure on this. Uh, creating landing zones, blah, blah. So some add more adjectives in your skills. Okay. I know it's very difficult, but all these basic services will not, uh, instead of these basic services, add uh, some, some adjectives, I would say. Okay. Certifications, you have to work on it. Terraform and Kubernetes, you have to bring that... Uh, um yeah and again the the language is not not great build docker files and blah blah and this very very simple and generic and built docker files is a very that doesn't give me a good vibe right created Docker images or can still be better. Developed something is better. Built, coded is not the, some of the not the nice words. So you work on it. I think you need to spend some more time on this. This is not, uh, still not there. Good, you have split it into two projects, which is good. I think earlier it was one project. Uh,
again it's a lot of uh, in uh, through in depth analysis reduce the cost through in depth analysis analysis does not reduce the cost it is what the outcome was did you implement it that analysis or not right cost optimization doesn't happen through analysis One more time on this. It's coming up in a good shape. I think it's too uh, quickly you, you set up another review. Uh, spend a little bit more time. Uh, you are writing 99.9% .9 SLA. Uh, do you understand this? Yeah, it is a maximum of time in a year. You say around, again, this is around 15 minutes, uh, ideally. So how did okay. you ensure uh, this, this level of SLA? We AWS can give uh, around uh, our EC2 right, so they provide 99.99% SLA, and mm -hmm. to, for up uh, for bringing our applications, so we can leverage high priority. We can leverage, um, you know, it's just uh, 50, the time 50 minutes. You said 99.9 .9 is 50 minutes per year. No, no, no. 15 minutes. 15 minutes. I I tell you. Yeah, around. Uh, I'm, I haven't calculated, but. Uh, 99.9 percent .9 is around 15 minutes uh, so how do you uh, uh, patch these servers and how do you manage these servers if it is only within 15 minutes so we can leverage a uh, batch process like right? so if let's suppose our application is running in two servers right so we can patch one servers then after it is up then we can leverage that then we can patch uh, another server so we can uh, downtime our downtime the application, the application. How, how do users' experience will change during that time? They will uh, be struggling, right, with less servers. So we can uh, deploy in some Saturday right weekends, or we can, uh, there, there's a, where we have a less volume. And we have a less okay. volume, we can. We can? Uh, where, when we have less volume, right? Uh, when uh, around night, night time, around weekend, okay. then users are not uh, that much active, so we can leverage that time. Okay. And CIS benchmark, how did you ensure benchmarking? Uh, yes, actually, that I implemented in my, in my current project. So we have a Java server, and also we have a list of uh, things we have to configure uh, after install, after uh, spin up the uh, Linux server, then we have to install a JBoss on it, right? So for JBoss, we have some standalone file. We have uh, in Apache, we have some external files. So we have to configure uh, that files according to our requirement. Uh, hmm. So okay. there's some same thing I mentioned in this. Can you give me uh, three examples in CIS benchmarking? What what are those three? Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, I have noted down, but mm -hmm. uh, can't remember that time. It is ideally um, so every, every word you have to... on your resume, every word you should be absolutely comfortable with. Right, right, right. If they ask CIS benchmarking, you should be ready. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah I forgot, but I have noted on other things. I have noted around 20 different of things that we implemented in our CSI benchmark. So, yeah. Especially this 99% something, and then you have another 20, 23%. Just be very careful. These things get uh, a good attention. So, yeah. you you are likely to struggle if you can't answer that with absolute 100% confidence. Okay, work on it a little bit more. Uh, bring professional words, keywords. Uh, that is important. Uh, built pipelines and all developed or uh, orchestrated is probably better, uh, slightly better word. So take help from ChatGPT, make it more professional, uh, but don't rely on chat gpt entirely that can make it uh, completely nonsense all as well sometimes so uh, have it in the human format but have professional words all right chief uh, don't book again within one or two days take some time spend some time on this see how market responds uh, send it to few hrs and then uh, then then enhance it from there <clears throat> all right thank you